everybody, it's cardboard time again, and now I will show you how to make a hippo from a box. A big box! No! What are you doing with my mother? Put her down right now! Ah, don't worry, my recycled friend. I'll give your mother a facelift. But first, let's make a work drawing. I'll close up the box and glue down the flaps before we start. Now we can draw. Imagine a big fat hippo with a wide box-shaped body. We need a pair of eyes, two nostrils, ears, a mouth with two teeth and legs on each side. And it's done! We start with shaping the box. Start off by taping over the seams on each side to strengthen the box. We need to cut out two identical triangles, one on each side. So, draw one. Then measure it with a ruler to make sure the triangle on the other side is the same size. Yeah, just like that. And now we are ready to... Cut! Get the grown-up to help you. First, cut out both the triangles. Then cut again across the edge of the box. Fold in the bottom flap, spread on some glue and fold the top flap down. Okay, now I'll show you how to fold and glue. First, bend down the flaps. Spread plenty of glue along the edges here. And plenty more across the bottom flap. Then fold the flaps onto each other. The glue takes time to dry, so use some sticky tape to hold the flaps in place. We'll remove it later. Right, I'll chuck that hippo over here and grab one which is dry and ready. Draw! I think we'll start with the mouth. You know what? I think we'll start with the eyes. With the eyes done, it's easier to decide where to put the mouth, you see. The mouth goes right across the front and around to the sides. Oh, look at that nice smile. This is how it should look. Add. Let's prepare the parts before we stick them on. Let's draw everything we need on a big piece of cardboard. Ears with glue flaps. Then teeth. Large nostrils. And a short little tail. Now, go over your pencil lines with a thick marker pen. Moving at light speed, I've got all the pieces cut out and ready to glue on. First, fold in the glue flaps. Yep, ready for some glue now. Stick them on under the flaps we glued together earlier. Now for the nostrils. Stick them on under the flaps we glued together earlier. Of 
continue with the teeth. They go just above the mouth and a little closer together than the nostrils. Finally, stick the tail on the back. A small bit of tape and it'll stick. Now we're ready to... Cut! Get the grown-up to help you again. Cut along these red lines and fold down like this. We can open up the hippo and take a peek inside. Oh yeah, very spacious. Fold the big flap down inside the box to make a nice sturdy back. Oh, I've forgotten to draw the legs. I'll do that quickly now. Too. Paint! I want to make it really fun and bright, so I'll start with bright blue. I'm going to mix up a great load of paint using blue and white. Time to bring out the big brush. Let's attack this hippo with large brush strokes. It's so big, just go for it. When the blue paint has dried a bit, carry on with some other colors. First white for the eyes and the teeth. Black for the nostrils. Orange for the circles around the eyes. And some pink for inside the ears. When the paint has dried, freshen up any lines that were covered by paint with marker pen. Finally, a bit of white for the toenails. Then, go over the rest of the black lines. I'll swap that hippo for one that's dry and completely finished. Woohoo! Isn't it great? Super blue and super cool. Mom, you look so different. What happened? <laughs> Let's watch it one more time. First, tape up the box. Then draw and cut out triangles on both sides. Fold down and glue the flaps together, adding some sticky tape while the glue dries. Then, draw the eyes and mouth. Next, draw and make the body parts. And glue them on. Now, cut open the top and fold it down to make the back nice and strong. Hooray! The hippo is ready to be painted in blue and other cool colors. You can also turn your hippo into a boat. Put some plastic underneath the hippo, then tape it up to the sides. Find a pair of oars and go for a paddle. Okay, Box, do you have any more ideas for us? Yeah! You can use the same method to make other boats, such as this cool canoe. Or this ripe and ready rubber duck. There. Hey, Box, do you want to try the hippo boat? Sure. Yeah? Okay. Here we go. And of course, you need a life jacket. Ah. 
there. And there are thousands of ways you can box yourself. Just use your imagination. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'm making new art for you every week. So please subscribe so that you don't miss my next idea.